Hey guys, so I'm doing a review on my hair extensions today. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to do one until my actual hair perfectly matched the color of my extensions, but that's not going to be for quite a while. Like, it matches okay. My hair just has a slight orange tint because my hair was red, and now I'm trying to go blonde and... Like, the red just won't fully go away. It's starting to really irritate me, so. My hair is slightly orange, and the extensions are like a bleach blonde. But I'm just going to do this anyway. And I'm going to start right now. I bought them off of a website called My Pink Vanity. And the extensions are called Lush Locks. I actually looked at extension websites for a good six months before I decided to purchase. I wanted, you know the best quality and the best price. So I studied, I did my research, and I came up to the conclusion that I like Lush Locks the best. They were about $110, and then I think it was like $10 shipping or something like that. $120, I got the 160 gram set, which is really, really thick. I probably would have done okay with the 120 grams, but I wasn't sure, and I didn't want them to look thin. But they came in this like little like I guess cardboard paper kind of thing and they were tied they were bundled together and tied by this uh pink ribbon and then they were folded like this and in a little square box and I just want to mention that the box did come in the mail which was really important to me another reason that I picked Lush Locks was um I didn't want something that I had to sign for because um, I never know when my mom's going to be home or at work. I never know when I'm going to be home or at work or my brother's going to be at school. I didn't want them to drop it off, needing a signature, and no one be there. So the fact that they came in the mail box was actually, like, really helpful to me. And then it came with this little, there's lush locks on the back, a little heart. It's cute. And then, um, care for your hair. It tells you how to shampoo and condition them. Um, it explains that you can style them if you use a heat protectant. You want, you definitely need a heat protectant spray before you put any kind of heat on them. Um, it says that you can cut and color them. They suggest that you do take them to the salon and have somebody who's experienced with cutting and coloring extensions. Um, but they're Remy human hair. They're real human hair. They're not synthetic. They're not fake in any way so you can color cut style whatever you want to them and yeah you can use flat irons curling irons hot rollers um it says that they do not recommend you blow drying them that can damage them and of course you never want to tease your extensions or back comb them because that can mat them and you don't want to do that to something that you spent over a hundred dollars on so I'm going to start showing you, I'm going to show you one of each weft. It came with 11 wefts, like 11 pieces of hair. That's a lot. So it came with two of these four clip wefts. Um, I did comb these out before, before filming this, so they're combed out and nice. Um, so this is a four clip weft, and it comes with two of them. I don't wear these because... My head is not big enough. Like, I don't know anyone whose head would be big enough for me. Like, it comes all the way to, like, the side of my head. And with all 11 wefts in, it's really hard to cover all the clips up. You don't want your clips showing or popping out. It looks really bad and tacky. Um, so I leave the four clip wefts out. I don't wear them at all. And I still get so much thickness. It's so crazy how much hair this is. So there's a three clip left. It came with three of these, and I wear all three of these. And then it came with two, um, whoops, wrong one. Two, two clip left for the side. So two of these. And then four little one clip left. So 11 pieces in all. Let me show you the quality of the clips. The clips are really good. So that's closed and then open, closed. Like you can hear it snapping. 
really good quality, and then it kind of like it has teeth, so it kind of like combs through your hair and just it sticks in. Like I'll just like throw this one in, clip it shut, and then like you can pull on it, tug on it. It's really like it came a little bit loose, but it's not falling out. And I'm pulling really hard, like I just like hurt myself. <laughs> so yeah, that's them in a nutshell. Now I'll tell you the pros and cons. I'll start with the pros. Um, they're really affordable. The shipping was great. Um, they came in like five business days, which I thought was awesome. Cause I was thinking about um boxy locks, but I know that those were going to ship from the UK. And that it could take like up to three weeks and going overseas. I was just afraid that they might get lost. So I skipped out on Foxy Locks because I just I wanted something that was coming from the US and wouldn't take that long. So and then um the customer service was really great. The um seller, the person of the website is named I think her name is Amy, if I remember correctly. She has a Facebook fan page and if you're not sure what color to get, you can take a picture of your hair or like any kind of hair of a celebrity or any color that you're wondering which extensions would match the best and she'll tell you which ones. I posted a picture of Christina Aguilera because I like the blonde of her hair and I want my hair that color and she matched that with these ones. This color is champagne blonde. It's like a bleach blonde. So it's like, it's got a little bit of a yellow tint in it, but it's, it's really blonde. Um, they're really soft, especially after you comb them. They do tangle, but that's pretty normal. Like, they're human hair, and like, my hair tangles. Like, you have to brush them out, of course. Um, they're not staticky. Um, they're really good. And I, if you've never, these are my very first set of extensions, so I'm not a pro by any means, I'm not an expert, this is all new to me, um, I'm a beginner, and I think that they're really good to get if you're a beginner, you don't know if you're going to really like having all this hair clipped to your head, and you want to try something that's affordable, but still really good quality, I would suggest Lush Lock. Um, now for the cons, there are a few cons I will say. Um, first, when I opened them, when they arrived, I opened them right away, of course. I was so excited. And the first thing I noticed was there was a lot of, like, little balls of fuzz in, like, all over, like, on every single weft. I sat there for, like, 10, 15 minutes picking out little, like, like, lint balls. It was really weird. I don't know what they were, why. I mean, I know they're processed. I know they're made by a machine. They're not handmade. I think the only company that I've heard of that hand makes the hair is Hello Gorgeous. So I know these were not, they were processed, but I don't know, that was really weird to me. And um, I know that it is pretty normal to find black hairs in your extensions, especially blonde extensions, because a black hair is way more noticeable in blonde extensions than like brunette. Um, and blonde hair is more processed than dark hair. I know that. But I found, like, a lot of black hair in mine. Like, it was starting to really bother me how much, how many black hairs I was finding in my extensions. So that was a disappointment, too. Another was, um, in one of the four clips left, there was a long green string attached to them. And I, I don't know why. It wasn't... It was really random, like it was just randomly put in there. And in the three third bleh, bleh, excuse me, three clip west, I found a long um orange string. I mean I cut them, I cut it really short. I'm not sure what it's for, I don't know if it had to be there, but I cut it really short just because I don't want an orange and a green string like hanging off my hair. Like that's kinda weird. So that was weird. And another thing, I'm sorry, there's kind of a lot of cons, but I'm just wanting to be completely honest with you guys. Um, so this this is the only weft that this has happened to, and I'm not sure why it happened. 
I have not, I've only been gentle with these. I have not done anything, like, violent to them. I treat them nice. I mean, I spent over $100 on them. I spent my own money on them. They're not paying me to say any of this. They did not send them to me for free. I chose them, and I spent my own money on them. Um, this clip right here, like, this one works fine. It opens and it snaps shut. But then this one, it, I don't know what happened to it, but it's like stuck in the middle. It doesn't, it's not closed, but it's not open either. It's just like, like you, you can hear this snap open, snap shut. And this one isn't doing anything. It still goes in my hair. Like, I'll clip this one in. This is the good clip that goes down, snap shut. The bad clip, I can kind of just like, dig it into my hair and it'll stay there so I can still wear this west it's just a little frustrating that something I spent so much money on broke when I've only worn these a handful of times I can count on my fingers how many times I've worn these so far so it, that's a little bit upsetting too um, but other than that um, I mean those cons might not be a deal breaker to you that could have been, like, a dud west. I don't know. Maybe that barely ever happens, but it just happened to me. I don't know. I'm just wanting to be honest with you guys. So, that's my whole review. Um, leave a comment and um, tell me what you think of Lush Locks, if you've tried them, what your experience with them has been. And I'm going to go and make a tutorial video on how, to, how I personally clip them in. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.